fallen soldier from our area finally received the burial he deserved. The remains of PFC Lachi John Ray Jones returned to Tennessee on Wednesday. That's after he perished during the Korean War 65 years ago. Our chief photographer David Moore takes us to a funeral that's long overdue. Part five, part. I want to thank everybody for coming out today. It's paying, paying tributes for this special day to my uncle. Thank you so much for all your deepest sympathies, your heartfelt emotions, and paying your respects for my uncle. PFC Lachi John Ray Jones. He is my namesake, and I love my family, and I love my country, and thank you again. I can't thank anybody or anyone enough today to express the feelings that I've had over the last three days. February the 6th, that we realized our boy is coming home. Thank the Lord, he's coming home. As you see the stone, Lachi John Ray Jones. He was awarded the post-mortem Purple Heart. He was considered POW and confirmed in Camp 5 in Pyongyang, North Korea. He is home at last, and my family is so thankful for everything that the U.S. Army has done for us in confirming the identity of PFC Jones. Please do not ever forget this day or any day or any veteran. I can't express enough gratitude for my family and my Uncle Jonesy and my Aunt Mammy Lou. I leave you with two words, never forget. Lachi Jones was captured in a prisoner of war camp and his remains were incorrectly identified and buried in Hawaii all those years ago. We'll take a look at some other local news.